man over the weekend. This surfaced on YouTube, and many people think the officers went too, officers went too far. But before you form an opinion, authorities say there is more to the story than meets the eye. NBC4's Kim Baldonado live in Long Beach tonight, where the police department was eager to talk about what they say really went down here. Kim. That's right, Colleen. The incident was captured by two security cameras, which show a different perspective and capture what happened before that YouTube video was uh, started rolling. Police also say the suspect was drunk and admitted to being under the influence of methamphetamine. This video posted on YouTube shows Long Beach police using both batons and tasers on a man laying on his back on the street. Sergeant Aaron Eaton admits it doesn't look good. When uh, those types of incidents happen, it just never looks good. It doesn't look good uh, from that perspective. But what this video does not show is what led up to this incident. This is video taken from a security camera outside a liquor store on South Street. Police say the suspect, 46-year-old Porfirio Santos Lopez, got into an argument with two other men, at one point throwing an object at one of them and then engaging them in a fist fight. Two people called 911. Sergeant Eaton says Lopez was aggressive and combative with officers when they arrived. And as they went to go contact him, he began to start to punch at them. That's when they tased him. The individual fell to the ground and uh, began kicking at the officers. Um, one officer uh, had his baton kicked out of his hand called 911. Sergeant Eaton says Lopez was aggressive and combative with officers when they arrived. And as they went to go contact him, he began to start to punch at them. That's when they tased him. The individual fell to the ground and uh, began kicking at the officers. Um, one officer uh, had his baton kicked out of his hand, and uh, later he was kicked in the head uh, by the suspect. The suspect has been booked on four counts and remains in custody at a hospital. It's unclear if his injuries were suffered during the fight he had with the two men or during his arrest. As with all use of force cases, this one will be reviewed.